I pray, speak thee once more of the free houses. In sooth, what knowledge does thou seek? This truth of noted wheat is accepted within the bounds of law. Ah, uh, it is accepted, but tis not accepted in total. One must enter a public house to produce compounds strange and draw forth their sweet smoke. There, tis fully within bounds of law. In faith, I shall undertake the journey. No further words be said. Upon my life I shall. <laughs> Verily, <laughs> Verily, sweet cause, thy cup would runneth over. <laughs> Knowest thou the greatest rift twixt the continent and Albion? Pretty tough. Their lives consist of the same base substance as any man of England's, but in foreign climes it varies by the slightest moat. Exemplary crosser. Knowest thou what the French name cottage pie? <laughs> they not cottage pie? Nay, their tongues and speech and taste alike are strange to ours. Gaul knoweth not a cottage from a house. What say they then? Ashi Parmentier. Ashi Parmentier. <laughs> Most certain. What name they cream? Cream is but cream, only they say la creme. La creme. <laughs> <laughs> what name they black with it? I know not, I entered no inn where it could be bought. But knowest thou what the crude Dutch place upon a garnish of potatoes fried in pork fat? What is it? A creamy sauce composed of the yolk of eggs mixed with vinegar and the juice of lemon <laughs> heated, then added to a dried mustard, salt, and the oil of olives. <sighs> Is thy vile talk? By my troth, with my own eyes have I seen it. They fair drown those poor tubers in that forsaken excrement. <laughs> we should have broadswords for these. How many are within? Three. May have four. Our ally on that count? I know not. So five could be within? Ah, there could be. We should have broadswords. Five could <laughs> be at not. What be the lady's name again? Tis Mia. Mia? How did she come to me? I know not. But sooth, persons do happen upon each other sad circumstances. She was a player once. Has she performed in any plays I may have seen? To my best memory, her greatest deed was to accept a role in a premiere. Well, what manner of thing did this premiere? Knowest thou the rebels all performed at Blackfriars Theatre within the city? I intend not air the Blackfriars house. <laughs> and yet, you are aware that within the city there standeth the playhouse. <laughs> and in that same playhouse they do perform plays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Note that. A troop assembles and performs their play but once. If it pleases the house, the troop is engaged. <laughs> the lady played in the premiere that failed to please, and there to the stage did she return. Uh, <laughs> Thou Antoine Rocamora, <laughs> a mulatto of Moorish and Var Island stock. He was often known as Anthony Rocamora. <laughs> Think I'd dost recall the fellow be he corpulent of stature? Harry, I must not venture so far as to call him such. On said Var Island, most of the poor they stop. Of course, I have to tell you. Think I dost recall the fellow of whom you speak? Well, what is that to tell of it? Truly, Lord Marcellus smote him hard and wet. <laughs> Tis whispered amongst the rabble. They were an account of Marcellus' fair lady. Did his wife and the moor make the beast with two backs? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing of that sort. Well, then of what sort? He tread on dangerous ground, and ground lovingly her dangerous treads. Ground lovingly her treads in the manner of the gentle Swede. Uh -huh. No more than this? Mm -hmm. Well, how did fiery Marcellus respond? He sent his men to the house of Antoine, lifted him up, they did, to the balcony. Dropping the rock of horror as though he were a mere stone. <laughs> Two score feet he fell, straight away crushing glass and garden below. He lives, yet though it be noted, the rock's words skip and stutter as stones themselves and roll smooth no more. Unfortunate and damnable shame. Truth be told, the man did with fire play, it was no wonder his hands were burnt. You mean? It was folly indeed to act the sweet upon the bride of Marcellus Wallace. Think you not he reacted too swiftly over an imagined slight? Well, no doubt Antoine expected not so swift nor brutal a response, but a response he should have expected indeed. Plus a caress of the feet. A caress of the feet means not. I caress the feet of my Madeira, no Oedipus I. <laughs> it is the laying of familiar hands upon the flesh of a bride not yet cooled from her marital bed. In troth, is it a sin as grave as kissing her nether lip? Nay. The 
two are of the same kin. Cease thy prattle. Drinking deep of a slab slit and pressing upon her feet be not as one. <laughs> they be not as one, but they be of the same kin. They be not of the same kin either. <laughs> Mayhap your pressing of feet varies considerably from my own. Then mark you well, the caressing of base feet of a matron and tasting the holiest of holies, where blessed men may die, the little death be not of the same kin. <laughs> they be not of the same kind, they be alike in not the slimmest sliver of a kindred. Art thou learned in the sweet Swedish caressing of feet? <laughs> oh, speak not to me of caressing of feet. Thou stand before the crown king of caressing. <laughs> <laughs> Does that do so often? I am vain. My performance be without fear. I neither hesitate nor offend the skin with too light a touch. Wouldst thou do so for a man? To the devil with thee. <laughs> Dost thou do so with frequency? To the devil with thee, and the pox upon my life. I say this journey was rough upon my own treads. May help thou and may bring me some relief. By my truth, I beg thee mind thy tongue, lest the fire in my heart overrun into my hand. <laughs> Here's Nancy Norton. Aye, right, tis so. What be the clock? Tis nigh a half turn past the third crowing of the cock. Tis not yet our time. Let us crowd this here while. Look ye, albeit ye shall not find me on bended knee to caress the treads of a man that adds no troll to Marcellus' wrath. To cast a man down from his home, striking him tetched and dumb, tis far outside the realms of honor. Any violet acts upon my person, he had best strike me dead in all four limbs, else my vengeance be taken upon him sevenfold. Hear you my meaning? <laughs> Did not say twas within the realms of honor, but you maintain the caressing of feet hath no deeper meaning, and I say that it doth. Hey, look here, I have performed caresses too multitudinous to number, and each and all held meaning. All involved put on an air of nonchalance, but tis a false air, and therein lies the blessed sweetness of a caress. Every touch contains within it the delights of Venus, unspoken yet all know it full, and Antoine would have done better to know it better. Splud was Marcellus' bride, cause no man hath need to temper his wrath with good humor upon hearing such news as this. Hear you my meaning? Thou hast given me rich food for thought. <laughs> Come, let us assume the board of Mars. <laughs> What be the lady's name again? Tis Mia. Mia. Aye. Why shew you such a whetted appetite for knowledge of our Lord's lady? Our Lord intends a trip to Dover this very night. <laughs> In his absence, he requested that I might dispose of him. This well? <laughs> nay, nay. Merely to attend to her dispositions, entertain her whims, with such activities as may keep boredom with me. Your intent is to embark upon a courtship with Lady Mia of Wallace? Tis no courtship. Tis merely as when you act as company to a good wife, to the theater or some such. Tis mere accompaniment, no more. Tis no courtship. Upon my life and honor, tis no courtship. Just buy a spare. <laughs> <laughs> By the man, Vincent, put 
morsel out. I am not hungry now. Soup as well? Marshal, my lady fair, she's in the flesh. Has been a bit of since I understand as well. And twice as these do surely please my call. No style of cottage pie sold in France? Nay, sir. Do tell. A sheep parmentier. A sheep parmentier! No style of wine to so called? No, not. Uh, mayhap tongues in France, you know, division twixt cottage and house. Behold the mighty mind of Britannia! <laughs> What all this tanker for? Tis ale. Ale's good. Might I partake of this thy cup? <laughs> the ale of bullet and sweet to accompany the pot. Do so, I beg. <laughs> Tis good. Tis good. Thou, thy husband's. No sign why we can. Then, if you please, develop to Vincent now the place of booty's here. Tis need the best. Fuck, damn me! I ask thee not. Thou sayest. Tis neath the bed, near to thee. Tis here. Oh my brother! 